what you're about to witness is the birth of a ministry. On June 19, 1968, 65 people met to discuss forming a ministry based on principles clearly outlined in God's Word. The first meeting took place in the basement of what was then Northeast Federal Savings and Loan in Southampton. It was at this time the miracle ministry named the Bible Baptist Church was born. On June 30th, 1968, the second Lord's Day meeting was held. Morning attendance was 87. Evening service attendance was 102. Pastor Alex B. Morrison was subsequently called as the founding pastor. In the evening of September 29, 1968, the congregation traveled to Fellowship Baptist Church in Philadelphia to witness 18 believers from BBC's congregation go through the waters of baptism. As the ministry continued to grow, larger facilities were sought. Sunday services and Sunday school would be moved to the chapel at Sunset Memorial Cemetery. Prayer meetings would move to Newtown at a day school operated by the Harper family. Records show that on June 26, 1968, 81 people traveled to Newtown for the weekly prayer meeting. Once again, larger accommodations were needed. Arrangements were made to hold Sunday services in the Southampton Community, Community Center. Sunday school would be held in the home of Harold and Miriam Runner at 932 Willow Penn Drive in Willow Penn. It became apparent that if BBC was to continue to grow, a permanent home needed to be found. A committee was formed to begin looking for ground on which to build a new church building. Contact was made with Mr. and Mrs. Shelley owners of the property located at 1717 Street Road. The property consisted of two and a half acres and had 110 feet of frontage on Street Road and ran 990 feet in depth. Negotiations were successful and the property was purchased for $15,000 on December the 20th, 1968. The Shelley home located on the property was shared by the owners of the adjacent property of Mr. and Mrs. Andres. A problem arose when it was discovered that the property line between both properties ran down the center of the home, one half of which would have to be demolished to accommodate the building of the new church. Negotiations to purchase the adjoining property owned by Mr. and Mrs. Andres proved to be successful and the additional plot of ground was purchased on March 28, 1969, for $13,000. Funds to purchase both properties were provided through the generosity of God's people. As part of the purchase of the Shelley property, BBC agreed to move the Shelleys to an area near the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. A U-Haul truck was rented, and Gordon Robinson volunteered to help make the move. Additionally, Ted Stanislaw and Charles Freeberger would follow with Mr. Stanislaw's pickup truck loaded with furniture. By March of 1969, the congregation had outgrown the community center facilities. So on March 28, 1969, a circus-sized tent was purchased to be the temporary home of BBC on its own property. May 5th, 1969, the tent was erected and the family moved in. Notice the way the flag was installed. That is Pastor Morrison's daughter, Flossie, being hoisted up the tent to install the flag. Wood chips were spread on the floor of the tent to help with the mud. This proved to be a problem as it attracted some of them welcome bugs. The solution? Pastor Morrison would drive a dump truck to the Jersey Shore and haul white pebbles to replace the wood chips. This is what Street Road looked like when the property was purchased, just two lanes. A sign announcing the future home of BBC was painted by Pastor Morrison's mother, and a building committee was formed. Groundbreaking for the new building was held July 27, 1969. 
Pastor Morrison, Miriam Runner, and Charles Freeberger represented the church family. In July 1969, Niehaus Construction Company was contracted to build the permanent home of BBC. Once the concrete slab was poured, the men's Bible class took advantage of it and held their class in the open air with Brother Bill Reese teaching. Exciting days followed as the family watched the actual construction of the building begin. Another great feature of the new building was the construction of the portico over the main entrance to the church. Both labor and material were provided by the body of believers. On March 1, 1970, just 20 short months from its birth, the BBC family finally had a permanent home. With the desire to provide a more effective ministry for young people, once again God's people stepped out in faith. The church was remortgaged in 1978 and had built what is now known as the All-Purpose Building. In addition to housing a full-size basketball court, the building would provide a four-bedroom apartment for missionary or staff housing. All of what you have seen was made possible because, as Nehemiah said, the good hand of our God has been on the work. The only explanation for the establishment of this miracle ministry is summed up in these words. To God be the glory, great things he has done.